Missy and welcome to Do What You Love. Today I have two really simple DIY projects using all supplies from the Dollar Tree to spruce up my coffee bar for the holidays. So I'm kind of doing a coffee bar Christmas home decor kind of thing. <laughs> so I think it turned out really cute. I added some new things that I made and DIY'd and then some old decorations from my mother-in-law. The actual hutch that my coffee bar sits on was my mother-in-law's um, who passed away this year. So I thought to bring in more remembrance of her for the holidays, I would use some of her older decorations. And I really think it pulled it all together. So I'm going for like a red, white, and green, like whimsical kind of feel. I added some new stuff, some new projects, and mixed it all in with my mother-in-law's older decorations. And I really think it came out aces. So if you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my, my channel, hi, my name's Missy. I'm so glad you're here. If you like these kind of things, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll be back another day with another video. But before I go, I just wanted to wish everybody Merry Christmas. It's coming soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye. This is my coffee bar slash cocoa bar on my mother-in-law's antique hutch and I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's very simple, but people seem to love this coffee bar. It's as soon as you walk into my kitchen, so it's very handy. I have a couple DIYs that I want to show you guys, so I think I'm going to go right into the first one. So this project is really easy. All you're going to need is these cute little jars that I got from the Dollar Tree that screw off. They are adorable. A nice piece of scrapbook paper. And then I'm going to use these same um, poster letters that I put on one of my previous projects, which was my shadow box, because I want my shadow box and these little jars to match because they're all gonna go together on the coffee bar. And then you're gonna need to fill them with whatever it is. Now I got my cinnamon sticks, my cocoa powder, and my um, peppermint sticks all from the Dollar Tree. So everything basically is from the Dollar Tree. And all we're going to do is just take this scrapbook piece of paper, flip it over, line up your lid, make a circle, and then we're going to attach it with glue. And then I'm going to take one of the letters, for instance, this is for the peppermint sticks, and just attach it to the front. And I'm telling you, it'll really make the jars pop and look more whimsical, which is the look I'm going for. for peppermint sticks. You see, I think that looks great with the shadow box. So you have S for cinnamon sticks, C for cocoa powder already with the marshmallows mixed, and P for peppermint sticks. So if you don't like coffee, you can have your hot cocoa. This is my next easy DIY Christmas trees. This is some of the supplies that you'll need to make these kinds of trees if you're interested in it. Of course, you're gonna need the little cones from the DT. I picked up a candle holder so that I can kind of have like an elevated one. The Starlight Mints, Peppermints. And then any kind of ribbon and twine of your choice, I got this. So all our first treat is simple and easy. We're just going to take each individual little candy mint out of its wrapper. We're going to take our hot glue gun and we're going to glue them all the way up our tree. And I think I'm either going to put either a pom-pom or a piece of ribbon or something. I haven't decided quite yet what I'm doing to the top, but I think you got the basic gist. So for this mint tree, I decided to go with a big red bow and the material I got from the Dollar Tree. And to top it off, I decided to go with another mint, but it's a different kind of mint. It's the puffy mints. And I also got this, these kinds of mints from the Dollar Tree as well. And I think the tree turned out adorable. For our next tree, we're going to wrap. So my idea for this is, is like we're gonna take one layer and wrap it down here and then take another rib layer of ribbon and just overlap it just a little bit like that. And then I wanna take a different color and where the two meet, 
I will wrap it right there. So it'll give it like a layered look. And I'm gonna use these four plus that color over there. So it'll just go down like that. Oh, really cute. Look guys. Adorable. If you take the rest of this twine, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to hot glue it into this point and then I'm going to ravel this puppy all over it. And what I'm gonna do is kind of make like little crisscross designs over it. And I'm not gonna fill in the whole thing because I want a little bit of the white showing, but I'm mostly gonna cover it with this. And then to accent it at the end, I think I'm going to pop a big green bow at the top. These are the three easy DIY Christmas trees. They were so easy to make. They took me like a half an hour. You could use them anywhere in your house and I absolutely love them. What a great and easy DIY project. Look how cute. To set the atmosphere, I'm just going to light my winter candy apple candle from Bath & Body Works. Tell me who doesn't love Bath & Body Works Christmas candle scents. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely wonderful and fill your home with such pleasantries. Absolutely. This wooden shelf was my mother-in-law's as well and I just spruced it up with a white chalk pen. I love it next to my bar because it gives a place for me to display my coffee mugs and I just think it looks absolutely adorable next to my coffee bar. These little guys were my mother-in-law's and I love how they look mixed in with my DIY Christmas trees. I added my gift bag picture frames in the background and I also purchased these holiday mugs from the Dollar Tree. I love the pop of color they bring to the bar along with these straws. And I think that my cocoa bar matches my old DIY shadow box perfectly. Now I have a cocoa bar and a coffee bar all on one shelf and I mean I just couldn't ask for anything more. I just love the colors. And these little snowmen and this little Santa boy and this little Santa girl were also my mother-in-law's but I mixed it with my own brand new little um, tray that I got from the Target dollar spot that I set my new Bath and Body Work candle on and I love how they all pull together. What could you ask for? Old and new and kind of sentimental all together and I love it. If you guys like this kind of videos please give it a big thumbs up and I will continue to show you my home decor for Christmas. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!